question. First of all, what does it mean for an API gateway to be stateless? It means that you don't need a centralized database to store configurations or a shared state. Okay, cool. And how does this affect us? Basically, it eliminates the possibility of a single point of failure, the database. Scaling their cluster will be much simpler since every node will be independent. There will be no coordination between them, a linear scalability even in multi-zone or hybrid setups. But how do I apply changes to each instance if there isn't a shared configuration? Each instance has its own configuration file, which is written when the service starts. Then if we want to change a parameter at an endpoint, we have to replace our gateway with another new instance that has a new configuration. So it's necessary to redeploy my gateway after adding a new endpoint? It is not strictly necessary. You could replace the configuration file and restart the service instead. The CrackMD process will restart gracefully, ensuring that all the queued requests has been handled before terminating. However, even if it's not necessary, it's highly recommended. Redeploying our gateway after any change will be a good practice rather than a problem. We call this immutable infrastructure. It may sound complex, but today tools like Docker or Kubernetes make it easy to achieve. You can automate your code repository, so build and deployment processes can be automatically launched after every change in your configuration. In short, a stateless API gateway eliminates the need for coordination between nodes and prevents from having a database as a single point of failure. Allows linear scalability, even in multi-zone or hybrid environments. Promotes the use of immutable infrastructure, as well as GitOps-oriented methodologies. So yes, Kraken D is a stateless API gateway.